I'm Pastor Mark Patty. I want to welcome you to Mornings with Mark as I share a few thoughts based on the scripture each day. This morning, I've been thinking a lot uh, as we've entered into this season where everything seems to be changing of, of what something my wife says often. It's called ugly dancing. And when she uses that term, she's not specifically talking about me, although uh, she could be. What she's talking about is the idea that when we want to start doing something new, we got to let ourselves dance ugly for a while as we learn our new rhythms, our new ways of doing things. And so this morning at our staff meeting, we had our first virtual staff meeting, 17 people on a Zoom call together on the computer. It was great to connect in a different way right now. We talked about how we have to be discovering new ways of connecting, of doing ministry, of loving our neighbors, of growing our relationship with God in these different circumstances today. I love that line of dancing ugly. It makes me think about how God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one of the ways of looking at the Trinity is that they were dancing long before the creation of the world, this joyful, loving dance, and that they created us to enter into that dance, to be a part of it. And so I think about my role and our role of inviting one another into that dance with God, of coming on onto the dance floor, of taking God's hand, of joining in the community of this dance and learning to love each other, to dance with each other. As the circumstances change, the dance changes too. And so in these days, we're learning some new rhythms. We're recognizing that the dance floor itself underneath our feet has changed in some ways. But the Lord of the dance, the one who's with us, has not changed. And he's inviting us to keep on trying to step out, to learn new ways with God and with one another. It makes me think of 1 John chapter 1, one of my favorite passages. When I think about my call as a person and as a pastor to invite people into that living, joyful relationship with God and with one another. John writes this, We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed and we have seen it and testify to it and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was re revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete, or it can be translated so that your joy may be complete. My sense is that the whole thing is so that our joy together with God might be complete. That the John is inviting us, and we invite each other uh, into this dance together. And may we show grace and patience with each other, especially in these days as we're uh, learning to dance a little differently. The dance might feel and look a little awkward, ugly. Uh, we feel vulnerable as we stand in, onto the dance floor together. But this is our call. This is our opportunity. And the point of the dance is not to win awards or likes or anything like that. It's to experience the joy of the dance with the Lord of the dance himself. So invite you, dance, dance ugly, keep learning, and experience that joy together. Let's pray together. Lord of the dance, we do praise you. And thank you so much for inviting us onto the dance floor with you. And thank you for the joy you give us of inviting one another, of being patient as we step on each other's feet or bump into each other. God, grant us the joy of... Uh, leading one another, encouraging one another to dance a dance that expresses your love and your joy to the world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.